In the last video, we described how Pathways via Switch can use IGMP, or Internet Group Management Protocol, to cut down on the chatter on your entertainment network. In this video, we're going to show a real-world example of how this works and can make the impossible possible. Previously, we described the three types of network protocols, unicast, broadcast, and multicast. Multicast protocols are handy when one device, like a video server, wants to dish out its content to many consumers, like monitors around your venue. Rather than pulling it from the hard drive once for each monitor, the server can set up a multicast of the content and each device subscribes to the multicast group. This greatly reduces the burden on the server and the rest of the network if you are using IGMP. Another example would be one master console driving a host of network fade processors or redundant backup desks. Again, manufacturers often choose to use multicast, so the main desk works less and the rest of the team just tunes in when and where needed. If your switch is using IGMP, nothing else on the network is disturbed by this traffic, and sometimes this flood of traffic can easily swamp 10 base T links. Think of a 10 megabit link as a drinking straw. It can easily handle a sensible amount of data. But when you have a number of consoles and or network fade processors using the same network at the same time, you can easily swamp the link with multicast traffic. And unless you have IGMP snooping turned on, all of that traffic attempts to go down every single link on the network. It just can't be done and some packets will end up in the trash drinking straw is just not fat enough. We simulated this in our lab by simply increasing the number of SACN universes until we saturated the link. We could have set up a video server or a network of consoles and NSPs, but by systematically adding universes until the link was saturated, it allowed us to easily identify the threshold and fail point. This panel has 1,024 LEDs. The top is a full universe and so is the bottom, and we fed both using a two-port gateway hooked up to a via switch. Here, the top is listening to universe 1, whereas the bottom is listening to universe 5. You can see by the unbroken vertical line that both universes are in sync with each other. Then we kept adding more and more universes to the network, each time patching the bottom panel to the last universe. The 10 base T link became saturated at 44 universes. That's about 7,500 RGB LED fixtures, or a video screen with less than 90 lines of resolution. Clearly this is unacceptable performance for entertainment purposes. But when we turn on VIA's IGMP snooping, you can see how the link to the gateway becomes unrestricted and the vertical bars come back into sync. That's because the switch has figured out that this gateway is only interested in XDMX Universe 1 and 44. Any other traffic used on this network is effortlessly filtered out for this link and this link only. What was impossible on this network without IGMP is now not only possible, but practical. This is an excellent example of how SACN and IGMP snooping can greatly reduce the chatter on your network and ensure that your entire rig, no matter how complex, is spot on cue each and every time you press go.